Are you, are you all right? I've just come in and there was a nice treat on the step. Carry a bag, I'll show you. So I've been shopping, been and got a light because I've had no dining room light for ages. So I thought, right, let's go. So I've been to next, got a light. Ian's going to put that up. And on the doorstep, there's a bag of rhubarb. So I thought, what I'm going to make, nice cake to go with a cup of tea. So I'm going to do, I think, a rhubarb and orange tray bake cake. Something really nice and easy to slice up that you can have with custard if you want. Um, but goes nice with a cup of tea. We've got 440 grams of self-raising flour, 440 grams of caster sugar. We've got eight eggs and we want two tablespoons of vanilla extract. This is nearly finished. In fact, it is finished. Just. Pop in 440 grams of melted soft butter, not hot butter. I've just had this in the microwave for a minute. And then just whisk it all together. Go in with the zest of an orange. And I want four tablespoons of liquid. So we're gonna use the juice of half an orange will be enough. Give it a quick mix. Be mindful not to over whisk your cake. Now, if you taste your mixture, that tastes good just like that. So if it tastes good before it's cooked, it's gonna taste good when it's cooked. So if you wanna leave it there and you don't wanna put rhubarb in, that'd be grand. Chop up 500 grams of rhubarb. It's not cooked, it's raw. It's just chopped fairly small. In that goes. Give it a mix in. Now this is enough for two cakes. So if you only want half the mixture, just half it. It's easily halved. But look at that. It's good already. I've lined two trays. These trays were just from the pound shop years ago. Just the job. And I've got a circle one because I'm going to do a test cake in the Ninja. So I didn't want to ruin everything in case it goes wrong. So I thought I'll put this little one in the Ninja. That can be a bit of an experiment. So I'm sure you know how to get a circle piece of parchment. Fold it up. And again. And again. Like you would be making a snowflake. See how big your tin is. Take it to the middle. Just, oh, I might need scissors. Yeah, I will. I can't find the scissors. Someone's took them. Someone will be wrapping parcels. But anyways, I've managed to tear it. Now you open it out, you should have a circle that fits near enough your tin. Right, share your cake mix out. I'm scooping it in because it's too big a dish to start trying to tip out. There, so see the shared out between the tins. Don't fill them all the way up the top, they are gonna rise. Now I want a bit, not a crust, but I don't know if you know what I mean, like um, sugary topping on the top. It just makes it for a nice finish. So you just, not a lot of sugar, but just a fine dusting of the top of each cake. And it'll just, gives it that nice mouth feel when you're eating it. Do this one as well. It's just normal sugar. There we go. So the oven's on 180. I'm just letting that warm up. Don't bother asking us what size tins these are. I have no clue. And actually, the size tins that you use doesn't matter. As long as your tin is big enough, it's fine. If your tin's smaller, you're just gonna have a deeper cake, so you might need to cook it for a few minutes longer. But as long as your tin's big enough, 
that's fine right let's have a look at this so we just want to warm it up to start with so it's on bake it's on 190 we need to turn that temperature down I want it to be we'll say 160 the time only needs to be five minutes because we're just warming it up six minutes will do one bake start these two are in the oven right so this is warmed up now I've put it on this little trivet thing that comes with it just so it wasn't sitting on the bottom close it that says 190 I don't want that so temperature down to 160 15 minutes I can go with that it's on bake start fingers crossed I mean I have a feeling I don't think it's gonna come out right first time I've tried a cake um, but you never know we'll see while I wait for that I've just cracked open a bottle of wine because it's Saturday night Gypsy Rosalie white Zinfandel virgin it's very nice Lovely. So I'll check the cakes in the oven. I'll let them have 20 minutes. That ninja, I'll let that have 15. And it's just a case of stick a knife in and see. But I mean, if, you, if you've cooked it, if you've overcooked it, you've buggered it, haven't you? So don't overcook it. You're better to check it every five minutes than to let it go 40 minutes and it's knackered so keep checking it so i know that won't be ready in 20 minutes and i'll check it every five or ten after that right this has had 15 minutes i mean it looks all right it, can you see that's still wet so it needs another couple of minutes these are out they've had 20 minutes so there's the one out the air fry. It's a bit of an uneven bake, but it's all right. Right, let's turn this cake out. Go down the side. How easy. Take off your parchment. How good. I'm just going to let it cool. I've turned the ninja one out. It seems fine. Let's try a piece. I'm just going to have a little square. This is still warm. I'll pick it up so that I can show it. Oh, that looks amazing. Can you just see how spongy that is so light? That's unbelievably light. That is delicious. You can taste the orange and the rhubarb. Nice bit of tartness from the rhubarb. It's sweet enough. What this would be nice with now, a little bit of custard, a little bit of pouring cream, or when it goes cold, get the kettle on. Amazing. Let's try the air fryer one. So I cooked it on 160 on bake for 20 minutes. It was in for 20 minutes, the same as the other one. I'll just put a slice. Looks fine. I mean, I'm going to burn my mouth on this. It's hot. Yeah, it's cooked. Hot. It's perfectly fine. It's got a crisper top. Hear that? Which is nice. 
that's the finish that the sugar gives it on the top it's really good it's just it's just the same such a light sponge it's hot right <clears throat> so now that i've ruined my soft palette and i'm gonna have to go to ent for third degree burns i can say it was worth it this is really good give this a go orange and rhubarb cake hot or cold with custard without with cream with ice cream this is delicious give it a go it's so simple you can't get it wrong you can do it in the oven and you can do it in the air fryer i've showed you both so give it a go if you don't want to make this much cake half the recipe you can do a cake put cream in put another one on the top possibilities are endless give it a go you won't be disappointed you did if you have got a load of rhubarb at the bottom of your garden that's going to just end up rotting go and get it picked and make this whatever you do have a good evening have a good day and i'll see you soon Bye bye